this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So proud this business, my background goes into political science and public administration. And um, I got my first appointment with a telecommunication company. It's called um, Vodacom. I think you also have it here, mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm. So I was working as a customer service agent, but I wasn't happy at all. Mm -hmm. Receiving over 200 calls on daily basis, saying my name is Dalina. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when we say in Tanzania, we don't do car finances. So that is cash of 1.3, 1.4 million rands. Yeah. I thought that would make sense to you. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much, Veronica. But um, and then that was my first five years in the business. So I went on building my business. As she said, I became an eco soaring manager for over uh, four years consecutive. But then I went into qualifying for chairman's bonus um, incentive of uh, seven times, and two of them being level two. So I've covered the world, I've covered the world, but um, the most important thing, last year I was able to buy my first uh, home, and it is in the best suburb in my town, in yes. Dar es Salaam, if not East Africa. <laughs> so I want to, why am I telling all this? I want to encourage you. If you are new in the business, I want to assure you, you can also do it. Yes. You can also eat do it. If I've done it, you can also do it. Yeah. So do you know what is my next goal? My next goal? Yes. Yes. I want to buy a home in South Africa. Woo! by the name of um, uh, Benjamin Franklin, he said, a lot of people die at the age of 25, and they are not buried until they are 75. Mm -hmm. yeah. What does it mean? Sure. When a lot of people reach 25, they start to lose hope with their goals, yeah. hope in life. So they live like that until when they are 75. I don't want you to be like them. That's right. I don't want you to be like them. Yes. And that's why the late Miles Monroe said, the most richest place in the world is in the yeah. yes. Because a lot of people have an amazing potentials, they, but they die with those potentials. Mm -hmm. And you might find somebody saying like, one day I'll have my own companies, I'll be having companies, but you die while you're employed. Mm -hmm. You might be here saying like, uh, one day I'll be a very good author, but you die without even writing an article. Mm -hmm. So we want, I'm here to show you how you can be able to maximize your potential. Mm -hmm. And in maximizing your potential, thank you so much, you need to identify your purpose. Right. You need to identify, you need to know the reason of your existence. Mm -hmm. 
Because a great guy by the name of Simon Sinek, he said, all the most successful people in the world, the great successful leaders, they know their why. They identify their why first because your why is very your why is your purpose. It's your reason why you are doing the business. Mm -hmm. So you first, uh, the most important thing you need to identify your, your mission. You need to identify your purpose, the reason for your existence, the reasons of you doing the business. So uh, when you identify your purpose, we normally say that uh, the most important thing, you know, uh, if you start all the successful people, go to politics, go to sports, go to the uh, successful entrepreneurs, they have things in common. Mm. Elo spoke about goals. All the successful people, they have goals. Mm -hmm. But number two, they identify their purpose, mm -hmm. their reason for their existence. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we take, uh, when, you are, when you want to identify your reason, your reason for your existence, you can look into your passion. What are you passionate about? You know, uh, when you're passionate about doing something, you won't wait for a phone call. Mm -hmm. You'll just do it. Mm -hmm. You won't wait for people to push you. Why? It's because it's your passion. But number two, you need to look into your pains. When I, when I speak about pains, yeah, your bad days in life. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine when you have everything in life. When you have achieved, when you have all the money you want in life. Maybe just like Enos. You, know, uh -huh. you have everything. You have achieved level three. Uh, chairman's bonus. You are level three chairman's bonus qualified. What will you still do? Maybe when you see the less fortunate people, you feel the pain. So, and number three, you can look into your strength. Your strength. So sometimes uh, there are things in life you do and people ask you, how are you able to do that? If myself, I can say maybe speaking or writing. So it's my strength. You need to look into your strength. So having said that, you need to come out with your mission statement. Mission statement. You know, my brothers and sisters, big companies, they have their missions. Forever itself is having its mission, mission statement. Yep. Organizations, countries, nations, they have their missions. Why not you having your mission? Mm -hmm. And your mission statements must have the what and how. Mm -hmm. So if your mission is in, to inspire and empower people, so you need to say like, this is my mission, and I'm in, empowering people when it comes to leadership, maybe um, I'm empowering people to maximize their potentials and all that. And then the how is how are you doing that? So you might be empowering people, but you are you are leading people. We are all leaders here. Can I see leaders? Woo! Amazing. So you are leading people. Remember, we are also into a network marketing business. So we are networking. And uh, maybe you're writing, maybe you're speaking. We are all in social media. We write in social media, we speak in social media. Mm -hmm. So for myself, when I'm, I write in social media, I don't write because I want people to follow me. I don't write because I want likes. I write because it's part of my mission statement. Mm -hmm. Having said that, my brothers and sisters, boys and girls, yes. I want to reintroduce myself. My name is Landina. And my mission in life is to empower, inspire, and motivate professionals, especially women, to discover their purpose, realize their dreams, build their businesses, achieve their goals, and I do all that <coughs> through speaking, leading, networking, and uh, writing as well. So that's my mission in life. <laughs> As um, she introduced me, Veronica, and there's one wise person said one day, uh, leadership starts with self-leadership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before you go out and lead people, mm -hmm. you need to become that leader. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, if um, uh, somebody kept it very clear, if you had to uh, to uh, to sponsor yourself, will you will you really sponsor yourself? Mm -hmm. Like if you're prospecting, and it happened that you are. Uh, you want to sponsor somebody, will you really sponsor yourself? That are you are you that leader that you look up to? Mm -hmm. So you can find yourself you're coming up with a volume map. You are maybe you're planning to do 30 cc this month. And you're saying like um, number one will do uh, 10 cc. 
The second one, maybe you'll do 5cc. The third person will do 8cc. And yourself, you're putting 1cc. No. Just one. No. <laughs> but you are giving others 10, 8, 7, 5. So why can't you start yourself showing, leading yeah. by example? Yeah. So when you are becoming a leader, uh, you, are, you really want to be a leader, there are things you need to look into. And number one, as I said earlier, is identifying the, the reason for your existence. Mm. I spoke here very well. And I want you to go out and write your mission statement. Mm. That can be your homework. Go out there and write what do you want, uh, what is your purpose, your reason for, for being in this. And the reason that uh, God kept you up to this now, uh, up to, to today, there are so many people who passed, uh, passed away, but you are still here. Because there is a reason, there is uh, something that God wants you to achieve. So you are working on your mission statement, you are working on your physical appearance. I've seen people in network marketing, they look like the ones who need an opportunity. <laughs> they say, I have an opportunity, but the way you can look at them on daily basis, they are the ones who need an opportunity. So you work on that, but you also remember, they say image is temporary, yeah. but reputation is the most important thing. Yeah. So maybe sometimes the image can lie, yes. Yeah. I've seen, you know, social media, don't uh, believe, some people can even lie the way they look, yeah. yes. but you, you work on your reputation, mm -hmm. that's the most important thing, yeah. but we are also working on your character as a leader, mm -hmm. character, I always tell people if you're not married, if you're looking for a spouse, the most important thing to look is character, mm -hmm. so as your leader, you also work on your character, you are working on your achievements, results, People want to see results. Mm -hmm. Jim Roney kept it very well that the best recruiting tool mm. is the change of lifestyle. Oh, yeah. yes. Nobody wants, people want to be led by people who are achieving. Yeah. Mm. So you need to achieve, you need to go manager, you need to go ego manager. Wow. People must see that you are also achieving your goals. But also, you are working on the skills. I'm not talking about you accumulating certificates. I'm not saying that you should not go to, to uh, your father studies, it's okay, because I also believe in uh, upgrading, but the skills, the most important skills that we are also going to speak about today, that they are very important for you to grow in your uh, network marketing business. So after you work on yourself, you have all the activities, you know all the activities that you are supposed to do as a leader, mm -hmm. and you always lead by example. Mm -hmm. Uh, I remember the Nkobile said, uh, the, I think say like the Nkobile, the number one in South Africa. They said you, you need to be the most hardworking person in the team. Yeah. So if you are telling people to, can you share activities so that you can see how you do on a daily basis in the group? You are the first, you are leading. You are showing people that the activities you are doing as a leader. So you know the one-on-one -on -one presentations, the uh, product launch, whatever that you want to do. But you, you, do, you, sh you live by example. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, you see, I've shared a few of my activities, which I do with the team, my team, myself activities, but also team's activities. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's um, something I do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting people for one-on-one -on -one presentations, and every day it can be between three to five people on one-on-one -on -one physical presentations. Wow. Wow. But also Zoom presentations as well. But these are a few of the physical meetings. Lunch hour presentations, coffee sessions, uh, you name them. So uh, a few meetings, but also uh, other activities. You can impress other activities. Like the product launch, as I said earlier, you can uh, uh, do your product launch. And you can do product launch with one or two people. You don't need uh, uh, a lot of people like, like uh, 20 people or 30 people or 50. <coughs> you can do your product launch with uh, one person or two people or three yeah. people. Yeah. So um, you are sharing the products, you are retailing the product, but also you need to identify your niche. Dama spoke about it, Wilbur spoke about it as well. Uh, in the, the UK, they have a very famous um, uh, saying which says, uh, a jack of all trade. Is the master of none. Yeah. So uh, we don't want you to uh, to be a jack of all trades. Yeah. You need to come out with your niche. So you need to identify <coughs> your niche. So you are learning all the skills, the invitation skills. The uh, you are consistent because if you can't do these things today and you don't do until next month, 
you need to do on daily basis. Mm -hmm. So you come out with your activities like um, other activities are like uh, group presentations. Mm -hmm. You see, this was um, a group presentation with a lady who joined the business and in two months she finished supervisor. Mm -hmm. She joined the first month, the second month, done and dusted with 25 CCs. Why? Because she embraced activities. Mm -hmm. So we organized this meeting. I paid because she said, I want to invite my people. I said, okay, we can do dinner. She said, um, I don't have money. How, what can I buy for them, like uh, drinks and all that? I said, don't worry, I'll host the meeting. Mm -hmm. So we did this meeting and she closed supervisor the second month. Wow. So you see all these activities. I am leading by example. Mm -hmm. When I'm telling my people, send your activities in the group, I'm sending first my activities. Mm -hmm. So I am showing the way. But also, uh, you are launching your people. You see this lady, she joined the business immediately when I came from Drunkersburg. Mm. I came in South Africa in, uh, it was February. Yeah. We came for the manager's conversion. And just immediately after the manager's conversion, I went, I spoke to her about the business. She joined. And this lady, this lady, she joined uh, in February. In four months, she made it to manager. Four months. Wow. wow. So when I went back, it was on Friday, and she joined the business the next day. <coughs> I told her because she lives some kilometers away from where I live. I told her I want you. I want to launch your business. I want to launch you. So I want you to prepare a meeting, and I'll come to uh, do a presentation. She said I'm not ready. I think I need time to prepare myself. It is so early. I said I don't mind because she was worried that I'm driving some kilometers away, and maybe there might not be people there. Mm. So I said I will come, even if there will be three or two people. I'll come. So I went into that meeting. This was the first meeting she launched. And we had a lot of people. I don't know if I, I, uh, no, I, did, I don't have the pictures. But we had like uh, 20 people in the first meeting. Wow. Wow. The first lady who came in that meeting, I told her, you know, this lady is an ego. She'll go for manager. And exactly because a leader needs to have an ego eye. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That lady, she became the first supervisor in the team. Wow. And the first day I spoke to her, I told the lady that this lady will be your first manager. Mm. And the second month, she became a supervisor. So she finished manager in four months. And that's why our leader Enos kept it very clear. If you decide to decide, by December, most of you here will be managers. Yes. If you believe, can I hear your own? When you focus on team success, everybody <coughs> succeeds. Mm. So you don't need to be selfish, only like concentrating on your personal activities, but you also need to concentrate with the team activities. You need to support people in the team that they want to grow. So you are working together with the team, you are coming up with activities, and uh, maybe the High Flyers meeting, I remember you had a one this weekend, you uh, identify your personal business presentations, don't wait for companies' presentations. Yes. You need to uh, come out with your own presentations, your own business presentations, and at least two per week, two per week. It can be online and offline, but at least your personal business presentation. Remember we said that we are going for ego managers, so if you concentrate on campus activities, they are not enough. So you have group presentations, your own team presentations, like this, this was the meeting that we went to do for the ladies I told you about that she became manager in four months. So I will travel like um, it's like two hours drive from my, the place where I live. Weekends, at least twice per month for big presentations. Now that she's already a manager, she's able to take charge. So uh, you see, you first lead by example, as I said earlier. But another thing that I want you to focus in too is to focus mm. on in this business, hundred mm. percent. Your main focus should be the focus. I love the definition of Robert Kiyosaki: focus. You follow one cause oh, until success. success. Mm. You follow one cause until success. And I'll tell you why it is important for you to focus in this business now. I'll tell you a few reasons. Number one is because of the rapid change in the world. <coughs> Of, of, of course, we speak about technology. If we look into, I don't know if guys, you, you have taken initiative to learn about AIs. 
artificial intelligence, how is taking people's careers. And they say over 85% of the most high paying jobs are not yet discovered. That's why it's very important. You know, maybe some of you are still embracing your, your degree that you took 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You still have those skills, impressing them without knowing technology is coming and a lot of people are losing their jobs. So the rapid change of um, technology. And that's, that's why it's very important for us to learn. I say it every day. If you can't learn, you can never grow. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. And if you can never grow, you can never be happy. That's mm -hmm. right. And if you can't be happy, you die. Yeah. What else is there if, if there's no happiness? Yeah. What else is there? Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, I want you to go back 19 years ago. They say the most paying uh, careers today are the content creators on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They get a lot of money. But 19 years ago, YouTube was not there. Mm -hmm. 19 years ago, the app, the uh, mo mobile developers, app mobile developers, 19 years ago, wasn't there. <clears throat> but today, the research shows those are the most high paid people. <clears throat> so you are still embracing your degree you got 15 years ago. <laughs> the same skills, the same skills 15 years ago. And that's why they say you need to get the skills out of your education. Go out, you learn those other skills to make you better. Yeah. But also, uh, guys, unemployment. Africa, I'm telling you, people are losing their jobs. I say that's with the artificial intelligence. But what, again, um, all over the world, it's not only in Africa. In my country, they did research in uh, 2017. Uh, if one, if they, they announce jobs, one job is, uh, is uh, about 150 people are competing for one job. 150 people. Last year, the research showed almost 300 people competing for one job. And they did the research and say in the next five years, one job, there'll be over 5,000 people competing for one position. Can you imagine? So you are here, you need to focus. Your focus should be building your business. Yeah. You need to build your business very serious. And that's why we are telling you, focus. Focus. Yeah. That should be your only focus. You are focusing on growing your business. So maybe sometimes you are having some challenges. You are struggling in this discipline, your disappointments. You need to grow. You need personal development. And that's why personal development come in as um, something that you need to embrace yeah. on daily basis. So I'll go very fast on uh, uh, areas that we need to concentrate when it comes to personal development. You need to concentrate into understanding network marketing industry yeah. at large. I've seen so many people, they know about forever, but they don't know about network marketing industry. Yeah. So you need to take time, because everything is in the YouTube. You need to learn about forever, understanding forever. Yeah. You can't only understand network marketing without understanding forever by itself because it's the company that you have decided, you chose, you have decided that you want to do your forever business. So you need to understand. Yeah. You need to learn about leadership. As I said, self, uh, leadership starts with self-leadership. Mm. So you become the leader first, but also you're working on your mindset. Mindset, because the change of mindset is everything. And um, uh, the fifth thing is uh, you're working on your spiritual life. For maybe you believe in God, you believe in Allah, whatever it is. I, I always say that whatever you want in life is in the, is in the Bible, is in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Any challenges that you are going through today, <coughs> in the, the answers are in the, the Bible, mm -hmm. in the Quran as well. You are also working on your finances. Where are you taking your money? We, we, of course, as we say, in the next three years, we are going to be millionaires. Oh, yes. So sometimes if you don't know uh, where to put your money, you might be having a lot of money in the next five or ten years. You are broke. Mm. Or you have not you have nothing to show. Mm. Simply because you haven't made bright, I mean better decisions with your finance. Mm. So every time or any time you get your bonus, you know exactly before I start using, there is some percent which is going to my saving and investments. Mm. 
So in the next five years, when you look back with all the hassles that you have kept in your business, sometimes you leave your children. I know there are some of you who have traveled miles. You left your young children, your spouse. You left your beautiful home. You are building your business. So in the next five years, when you look back, you said, I'm proud of myself. Yes. You see that I've achieved. There are things that I can show. So what the sources of personal development, I'm trying to go very fast because of time. Books, at least you get, even if you're lazy, dedicate at least 10 minutes on daily basis yeah. to read. It can be in the morning, it can be in the evening, but the best time I recommend is in the evening before you sleep. Don't go to bed with our gossips. I don't know in this country, but in Tanzania, people have gossip. So uh, you, you go to your social media, you take gossips, you go into bed with those gossips. Why can't you go to bed with her? Maybe even the word of God. Or at least you read something positive to empower you. And then you go to bed. So at least you can dedicate 10 minutes a day on daily basis to read a book. So what are the books that you need to concentrate into? There are so many. So many books. You can take a picture. GoPro by Eric Wall. Veronica spoke about Eric Wall. If you haven't read GoPro, my dear, you have no idea what you are losing. Mm -hmm. Because GoPro is like a Bible in this business. Yeah. Everybody who is successful, they recommend you read GoPro. Mm -hmm. You are first year in network marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you are in the fifth year of this business, mm -hmm. You need to go back and read your first year in network marketing. So all these books, they will uh, they will make you a better person, but you also get the skills I said of network marketing and um, and um, and the mindset as well. So I spoke about all these books, but again, audios and videos. There are so many audios and videos that you need to listen. Most of you have cars. Even if you don't have a car, even if you use a public transport. You can have some audios and videos in your phone. When you're on your way, you get time at least uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to where you are going to listen to something on daily basis. Yeah. So YouTube um, audios and videos, as I, I wrote here, in southern part of Africa, Forever Living uh, Products, southern part of Africa, it has amazing testimonies. I remember there's a lady, she's here, her name is Miriam, she's coming all the way from Northwest. When I was prospecting her, I sent her this YouTube channel. She came to me, she said, Mama, oh my God, this testimony is just by, she was excited before even my presentation, just by going to the, to the YouTube channel, by reading those stories, hearing those stories, she was already in. So you have a very good uh, YouTube uh, channel. So, you know, Salema channel and other mm -hmm. audios as I wrote there. So, um, broadcast as well. Podcast. Broadcast. Podcast. 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 Yes, podcast. Thank podcast. you so much. Mm -hmm. You know, in Tanzania, English is taught in Swahili. <laughs> <laughs> You'll forgive us, uh, podcast. Okay, uh, discover forever as an app. So, take notes. FLB 360. They spoke about it yesterday. Mm. The lady who was the, the host of the event, she spoke a lot about FLP 360. So you don't have to wait for manager. You don't have to wait for you to become a manager for you to start embracing FLP 360. Yes. Yeah. You need to start today. You need to tell your manager today, show me how can I, um, how can I uh, start using FLP 360 from now, even if you're an assistant supervisor or you're a preferred customer. So you also uh, make sure that you attend events. How many of you were there in the success day yesterday? Give yourself a good one. Because that success day was fun doing. It was. It was amazing. I've never seen yeah. something like that before. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So uh, you're attending success days, you're attending events. There is manager's conversion, which is coming up next year, February. And all of us can decide to decide. Yes. You can draw a line in the sun and say enough is enough. Mm -hmm. I will never miss an event. No. So you make sure you attend all the events. You go to corporate events as well. Because there is where you are going to meet your potential clients. Yeah. You are going to meet your loyal uh, customers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are going to meet your prospects. Mm -hmm. The lady that I said she went manager for four months, I met her the first time I went 
I met her in events. I was hosting an event and she said, she looked at me and said, I want to associate with this lady. Mm -hmm. And she came on my DM. She said, can you please, she prospected me. I did not prospect her. She said, how can I meet you? I want to learn what you are doing. I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. So that's how she started the business. So you are attending, because most of the people that I'm recruiting now, most of them are meeting them, apart from social media, I'm meeting them in corporate events. This month alone, this month, I've recruited four people with assistant supervisor, 6.8 combo. Ooh. And three of them, three of them, corporate events, one of them, social media. Clap hands, my dear. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> four, four assistants. And my goal is to recruit at least six people this month, before the close of this month. Yeah. So you can see that it is possible. Absolutely. It is absolutely possible. So uh, when I started this business, I had so many feelings flowing through my mind, my body, my conscious, my subconscious mind. And I was asking myself, will I really do it? I don't know how to sell. I don't know how to talk. What will people say? Huh? What will people say? But let me tell you. I want to tell you what I told myself over 10 years ago. I was walking up in the mirror, walking up in the morning, look myself at the mirror, telling myself like, Blandina, you know what? You'll be successful. Yeah. Later on, I changed it. I started saying, Blandina, you are successful. Yes. You are successful. Yeah. And this is what I told myself 10 years ago. I say that I can, I will, I must. Failure is not an option. I will never be denied and I'll do whatever it takes. It takes to be successful. Woo! This is not the way to be successful. Because of course, yes, I know, you will be successful. Mm -hmm. I love this quote from Robin Sharma. Mm -hmm. Investing in yourself is the best investment you'll ever make. Mm -hmm. It will not only improve your life, it will improve the lives of those around you. Mm -hmm. So you made the wise decision to come in this training. Yeah. Some of you have traveled miles to come for this training. Mm -hmm. It's not only for yourself. Yeah. It's for your loved ones as well. Mm -hmm. Your family members, your team members as well. Mm -hmm. But also, you need to understand the benefits of personal development. Maybe sometimes you don't do personal development because you don't understand. You don't understand the importance of you doing personal development. So you need to know the, the importance of you embracing personal development, at least on a daily basis. Sometimes when my energy is low, I go back to listen to something, to read a book, and that's how I come up, I rise again, just because of personal development. I don't need to receive a call from my iPhone. I motivate myself by doing personal development. Mm. So sometimes when you are down, you need to get a book, read a book, listen to an audio. So you need to understand the importance of you you know, uh, doing personal development on daily basis for those who are writing, because you need to learn new skills. I said if you cannot learn, you can never grow. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important for you to learn every day. And you can even learn from your brand new assistant supervisor. Mm -hmm. That's true. You can learn from a preferred customer. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes you need to remove that ego. Mm -hmm. And say like, you know, I'm up there. No, you need to learn from everybody. Oh, yes. So again, the benefits of personal development, they make you to be creative. So you discover yourself, as I said, you maximize your potentials. And, um, oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. So remember, you don't make what you want. You make what you are. Mm. Yeah. You are who you are. You are who you associate with because they say you are the average of the five people you associate with. Yes. Mm -hmm. So always remember, it's very important, the people you associate with, the books you read, will make you the person why. Right? Because they always say that you, you have, I'll show you in the next slide. Um, value your personal growth and your personal development. Invest time in becoming the better person. Apply the knowledge. What you learned today, you need to go and apply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't apply, it will be a waste of time and money. Right. Yes. And um, uh, finally, as uh, Jim Brown kept it very clear, your income does not far succeed your personal development. Yes. 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 
your income your income will never surpass your personal development so it's very important for you to learn as always as i'm about to finish up i want you to every day at least if you can come up with a seven day plan mm -hmm. i normally do it on sunday mm -hmm. and i tell people you need to respect your, yourself enough to have a plan <laughs> so you can do it in the evening i normally do it in the evening after church after I've rested and all that in the evening every sunday even today i'm going to do it i plan for my week because they say he who fails to plan is planning to fail that's right wow. So you need to plan on your um, on your week, but also uh, I spoke about all this. I'm not going to repeat. You are working on your character. You are achieving goals. You are focusing on the skills and the skills that you need to focus in. As um, Eric Wall says, he kept it very clear. These are the most high-paying skills in network marketing. Mm -hmm. The high-paying skills: finding prospect. You are learning invitation. You are learning presentation. And presentation, one thing I can tell you, my brothers and sisters, I struggled with presentation. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a story next time because of time, but I struggled. So if you see me today, some people say I'm a, a good public speaker, but one day I was struggling with presentation. You are doing the follow-up, Wilbur spoke very well. How can you close a uh, prospect, getting people started, promoting events? Eric Wall kept it very clear. You don't announce event, but you promote what? events. Yes. So you need to learn to promote events. Mm. Have you said that, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. brothers and sisters? Thank you so much for listening. I'm looking forward to see you at Thank <laughs> you.